Our next guest is an international sensation who has a passion for old cars. She plays the title character on USA's explosive La Femme Nakita. <laughs> You've forgotten? Cairo. Three years ago. Nikita? This is Peter Wilson! <laughs> Thank you. Are you coming with something? What is that? That's a, uh, it's a rose. rose. It's a friendly lot rose I picked up at the 7-Eleven on the way. You know, not only are you beautiful, I heard you. Not only are you beautiful, <laughs> your voice is kind of, kind of sexy. La Femme Nakita. I just like saying La Femme Nakita. Yeah, thank you. How you doing? I'm getting a little excited, a little nervous. My tummy's kind of going funny. I think it's maybe... You or really? them or yeah. I wanted to ask you. Uh, I'm kind of an etymologist. I, I'm in the nomenclature, the naming of people and things. Well, here we go. Yep. And we had Dido on on Tuesday, and your name is Peta. I found all about Dido. What, what does Peta mean? How? Why do they name you Peta? Okay, there's a few things. Peter in Italian means pity the mother. Peter in Greek means stone. You're saying Peter. You're adding an R in there. Peter, Peter. Okay. I've been in America. You've got to whack in the R. Yeah. The Peter, Peter. All right. But, I mean, we've, we've got a little situation here because my mother, I mean, I hated my name as a child. There was, yeah. I had a husky voice since I could speak. You still do. I said, still there. <laughs> and when I'm around tall, handsome, late night hosts, it gets lower because they get excited. Okay. Um, <laughs> Me too. Whenever I do, whenever I do Letterman, I get real. Oh, I get real. Oh. Uh, he makes me very. My voice goes high for him. I'm like, no. Uh, but what happened was, I mean, your researchers taught me. They asked me. I said, well, I was named after Miss Australia, 1970. Your mom named you after Miss no, Australia. Yeah, mom named me after Miss Australia, and you know, I hated the name, and I was at Catholic girls' school, so I'd arrive, and they'd be like, shouldn't it be at the boys' school with the husky voice and the boys' name? Mm. So I would come home, and I'd be furious and upset. How could you name me that name? I'm Jennifer, or I'm Tanya, and I wouldn't mm. answer to anything. It would be stuck on, the, uh, on my door, and yeah. for months I would go with that name. But it is true, apparently, that I was named after Mrs. Australia in 1970, but according to the researchers... Our research. Her, yes, your research. Yeah. Her name is Rhonda. So I should really be well, Rhonda. Your, your mom blew it. My mom blew it. She lied. Mom, you lied. I'm changing my name. So the runner-up... I hate my name. So Rhonda, Rhonda won, and Peter may have been the runner-up, so you should be called Rhonda. I should be called Rhonda. What do you think, Rhonda? Help me, Rhonda. Yeah. Rhonda. Yeah. 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 And I really... And it's a hard thing as a child. I really didn't understand, but I'm a girl. You're damn I right. You're all woman. Oh. <laughs> Do they, do they celebrate? They don't celebrate Christmas in Australia, do they? Well, we really celebrate Christmas. I don't know what you guys do here with the. Oh, actually, it's LA, but in the East Coast, with the thing I really no. don't understand. What don't you understand? Well, that it's cold. Uh, no, I mean I. Understand. But to wear a coat, that's all you really. No, I know, I know, I know. It's nice. It's cuddly. It's warm. But in Australia, it's hot. Yeah. You know, it's a big holiday. It's we celebrate Christmas, but it's just another reason to have a day off work. Yeah. And it's all the beach. Santa comes by, but there's no That's like right, it's very food. warm there. Very yeah. hot. We we you know we don't eat a lot. We eat shrimp or figgy corn. pudding, Yorkshire pudding. No, none of that. <laughs> none of that stuff. No, we have um, prawns and oh, yeah. lots of beverages, lots of cold drinks, and you, you know. Is this alcohol or is this? Australians don't mind a drink. You know. <laughs> they drink everything. everything. In Australia. It's like, you know, air is, you know, the way we live in the rest of the world. In Australia, like, you need a drink. Everyone drinks. So it's, it's Christmas Day is a lot of beverages. Was it fun growing up in Australia? Was it yeah. different? 
It was a very good Besides problem. your mom blowing with the name, was it... Was it... <laughs> no, that's okay. We'll, we'll be talking about that over Christmas lunch. Um, right. uh, the, yeah, growing up in Australia was good. I mean, we lived in New Guinea till I was about... Which is just a, a north, northeast of Australia. That's right. That's right, Craig. I'm impressed. Well, you know, geography, nomenclature, a lot of uh, a lot of hats I wear. But you're, I'm sorry, I can't touch your arm. What? Uh, okay. La femme la I'm saying No, okay, I'll get I'll get a funny story. I'm, I'm listening. Do you want to hear? All ears. So anyway, um, mommy's in Australia. Mommy's in Australia. Carlene Wilson and Dorothy Wilson. So they're there. Hi, mom. So they're in Australia, and Mum lives in the bush. And in Australia, oh they're... my God, can we say that? <laughs> I thought she was married. Wasn't Not she married? married? He's so rude. What happened? No. Now in the bush, the scrub. Well, it's late night. Say what yeah, you want to say. <laughs> so, go ahead. <laughs> so anyway. You know, in Australia, the men make the money, and the women do all the rest of the work, cutting the grass, putting the garbage out. Women do everything. What's wrong with that? <laughs> you can hit me. You can hit me. Right, go ahead. I'll grab you in a second. Um, <clears throat> so yummy. So anyway, and Mum decides she's fed up. She works in a small pub. She's got three jobs. And every Friday, this guy, like a crocodile Dundee guy, comes around with like things. And my mum's such a, you know, she buys it every week. So this one week she decides like, she's not cutting the grass one more day. The lawnmower is at the dump. So she buys a goat, because goats eat grass. She won't have to ever worry about it. So we get a goat, a bed doll, and green slime. Well, she gets home, of all goats, this goat is allergic to grass. It won't eat it. It stays on the trampoline for about three weeks until it's eaten every piece of clothing on the line. Wow. It's a really strange thing. A goat to mow the lawn, right? Is that what you're saying? But it wouldn't eat the grass. It wouldn't eat the, was it a riding goat, or was it a, what was the kind no, of goat it was it? And then you have, you have a trampoline? We have a trampoline. Oh, I can picture a little... Goat. Well, little, I don't know. Little girlfriend here jumping on the trampoline. Oh, I love the trampoline. Uh -huh. No, but we used to do... Wild. Wild life, you leave. Wild life. You know, we, 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 Private Benjamin was a big movie, so I used to get dressed in my father's army fatigue. Yeah. With the goat on the trampoline, jumping yeah. up and down, trying to bounce the goat off the trampoline. It was a big thing, you know. Really? Got to ready for Hollywood, you know, I'm yeah. ready. Wow, you're kind of wild. Can you stay there? Um, say yes. Okay. Five questions with Peter Lynch. Oh. It's uh, time for five questions with Peter Rhonda Wilson. Here we are. Very, uh, very, very popular new category of geography. It's called capital or not a capital. Barcelona. Not a capital. Correct, it's Madrid, you're correct. Madrid, Spain, right? Right? Madrid, right? Oh, this is tough. Oh, yeah. You speak a number of languages. Count to ten in Australian. Count to ten in Australian. One. Ten. Whoa! All right, listen carefully. This is a holiday tradition, my household. This weekend we'll be going to the Cheesecake Factory. And I'll be wearing my full-length mink coat. What organization is mad at me? Uh, PETA? PETA is correct. Uh, you will not get this next one. You will not get oh, this no, next okay, one. Oh, no, okay, I'm sorry. I'd like to get it right. Okay, go on. Five seconds on the clock. Five seconds, got it. No okay. pressure. Five Ready. seconds, there it is. Name five nuts in five seconds. Go. Brazil, macadamia, pine, pea, nuts, walnut. Is that right? Is that right, five? That is correct. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Pea nuts. This is for a perfect five out of five. Pete, I left a Christmas present uh, down under your seat cushion. Is it a hundred dollar bill? This is for you. A hundred dollar bill, a pair of cubic zirconia earrings, or an autographed picture of me, Mr. Craig Kilborn. Please tell me it's a picture of you, Craig. Is that, is that your answer? Check. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! 
That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, Mr. Stay nice. See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the family too. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thank you for pressing your luck. Bye bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three. Two, one. Bye. bye.